This video is going to be about restoration ecology. So ecosystems can recover naturally, but it takes a really long time for that recovery uh, to actually be complete. So restoration ecologists then are going to work to either initiate that recovery or speed up the recovery of a degraded ecosystem. And so they do that through identifying and manipulating processes that uh, they find to be most limiting in the process of ecosystem recovery. So one way that they can do this is through bioremediation. So bioremediation is going to be the use of organisms to detoxify and restore polluted and degraded ecosystems. So for example, if you had a really polluted aquatic environment and scientists found a plant that was able to take up and detoxify the pollutants that were um, found in that ecosystem, they could introduce a large number of those organisms to that ecosystem and over time they would uh, gradually be able to take up those toxins, detoxify them, and then release them back into the environment and over time they would uh, kind of clean the water and restore that ecosystem back to what it was supposed to be. So another way they can do this is biological augmentation. And so that uh, approach is going to use organisms to add essential materials to a degraded ecosystem. So whereas bioremediation is taking things out and detoxifying them, biological augmentation is going to be adding materials into um, an ecosystem in order to be able to uh, initiate or speed up the recovery process. So for example, if you had um, a type of bacteria, nitrogen fixing bacteria, that was able to be introduced into an ecosystem and uh, bring a lot more nitrogen back into the soil, then that would be an example of biological augmentation because we've added an organism that is able to add an essential material to a degraded ecosystem in order to initiate or speed up the recovery of that ecosystem. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.